you know, my belief system is we're all dead soon. Life is actually very, 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 very short. And I don't understand why anyone would want to continue Groundhog Day the moment that they've had that understanding that they don't want the life that they actually have or something has to shift. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's finances. Maybe it's fulfillment. Maybe it is, maybe they just need more fun in their life. Today we have Liz Benny, who's the queen of Kapow and the catalyst for change for high achievers. Welcome, Liz. Hey, how are you? Doing really well, thank you. How are you? I am so excited to be here, dude. I really, really am. I'm, I'm phenomenal. I'm excited. That's so good. Now, we're interested. Tell us a bit about what you do and the journey that, that you're on right now. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I've been around... And for those that have dirty minds, no, not in that regard. I've been around the internet marketing industry in the entrepreneurial journey for a good period of time and um, made millions, done, like helped people do lots of things. Uh, What my passion right here, right now is, is helping people who have reached that point. They've done the money. They're disillusioned millionaires, depressed millionaires, divorced millionaires, people who have gotten to the point where they've pushed their body so far that they're like, what the hell did I do this for? I help those people live the most fortunous, fortunate, fun, fulfilling, amazing lives, uh, reconnecting back to themselves. And it is, uh, it is the most joyous journey I've ever been on. I absolutely love it. And I personally believe that life is all about the perfect effing balance And what I mean by that is all of my Fs. Uh, So faith, family, friends, fun, freedom, and all the other Fs that come with that as well. That's what I help people do. I love that. And how did you get started? How how did you you end up on this path? Oh, my gosh. Well, here's the deal. Um, I think uh, we see a lot of the time in society, we see these uh, these ads that make us want uh, and make us believe that more money is the direct path for more happiness. And it's really funny that you asked that question because I actually went to university. I've got my master's degree. I studied positive psychology and it's almost like, um, and I really loved it, by the way, I loved university. And a lot of people in the world that I came up through in internet marketing, nobody really had degrees. Nobody really had masters. And I kind of just, you know, forgot about it. And I kind of, you know, just, I let it, I let it go. And then as I was part of this industry, I saw, I saw things behind the curtains that not many people knew about. And because of how fast I had grown my business and the connections that I had, I saw the truth of what was actually going on in people's lives. And, you know, they might've been talking about, you know, I did a million dollar launch or I did a million dollar minute or whatever it is. But the fact of the matter is that behind that, their relationships were in turmoil their kids were suicidal, they were suicidal, um, and things were in disarray. And a lot of the time, they really didn't have that true, deep version of wealth that they actually wanted. They had great revenue, but they certainly didn't have a wealthy profit that was allowing them to live a beautifully abundant life. And I was like, bugger, I need to change this because I did things backwards. Um, I am not a Lamborghini millionaire. Nothing against that in any way, shape or form. I think, you know, to each their own and then we move on. But for me, it was just one of those things where um, I built my business and was frugal on the way up and invested. And I did things that I didn't know were weird. And it was apparently, and I've spoken with financial people um, a lot over the last couple of years, and it was apparently weird not to spend all my money. It was apparently weird to invest it and then to grow frugally. It was apparently weird to, you know, not need to shell out and, and show people how rich I was. And um, I just, you know, I, I'm, I find myself in a very fortunate position in a global downturn. Um, and it's now time for me to make sure that people are served. Yeah, I love that. And do you know what? That, that really aligns with kind of who, who I am as well. Like, because I, mm. like, I, I totally get that. Like, I, I don't have the flashy car. I don't have the, I mean, I have a, have a humble little, little studio here. You know, it's, you know, I, I get it. Like, I, I get that, you know, you, you, do, do you sort of find that you're driven for, for more of a, a deeper purpose than just to kind of show it off? It's so funny that you say that. So, I, I mean, I don't have a bottom of the line car. Um, I have a really, I do have a really nice car, uh, but I, it's it that, yeah, 
it, 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 but it's it's that I did it for what I wanted my life to look like. I'm an outdoors person. I love getting out into the mountains. And instead of buying a Mercedes, I bought something that was much more, it was still a brand new car, but it was high. It was, it didn't have to be a Mercedes at that point in time. So, you know, you're talking about the, the, the drive and the depth. Um, can you rephrase the question just so I, I can make sure I have the depth of that question? Uh, yeah, sure. Like, do, do you find that there's a deeper purpose driving you beyond just kind of the stuff? Yeah. So, so thank you for, for rephrasing that. So definitely um, my wife, Christy, and I got to the point where we actually started uh, about three or four years ago, started to use the phrase money shmoney. Like well, there's no point in making more money right now because there's not depth in that money. And yes, we could sell another $50,000 package or yes, we could do, you know, this thing over here. And, but it was just, it got to the point where making money without the meaning was the was worse than making money in the first place so yes right now there's so much more perfect purpose it's so much deeper because i know that there are suicidal ceos out there i know that there are depressed ceos out there there are people out there in so much disarray and if i can just work with those people and serve them the world changes Mm, that's great and so how do you do that like what what are some of the things that that you do to kind of help come alongside someone and and really you know help them reconnect with themselves oh my gosh okay so uh for those of you if if this is on video for those of you watching you'll see that i'm in a really nice top and all that sort of good stuff but i get down and dirty with clients in a way that no other coach ever really does and we go to the places that are actually holding people back like actually holding people back um, what I m- am most passionate about through through my work is really seeing people for who they are. Like I've heard it more times than I can count. You know, Liz, you were the first person to really see me and understand me and get me. And when you can go to those places and then you can actually really help a person stand in their power, perhaps for the very first time in their entire life and step into their greatness and then walk alongside those people as they get out of the shell of, you know, the past lobster version of themselves. And then in that, in that water of yuck and pain and horrible, like this is, wow, I'm transforming. And then really stepping them into the life that they really want with the support systems that they need um, as well, because, you know, there's a lot of subconscious programming along the way that a lot of that needs to be unlearned. So I work with people at a very deep level to make sure that they, have the life that they bloody well want and they deserve. That is so good. Wow. And so do you feel that that's kind of been one of the major catalysts for for your growth in in business, do you think? Most definitely. So a lot of people look at me um, as Liz Benny, the Queen of Kapow, full of energy. And yes, I am all of that. Um, And I think a lot of people come to, to me because they are very magnetized by my energy and they're looking for something that they are like, holy crap, if I like, how many coffees has this lady had? Um, I often hear that question and, you know, the answer is one, I'm a one coffee a day person. Like, and I just love it in the morning. And I also don't need it in the morning because I am so passionate about what I'm doing. And believe me, um, my life has not always looked like rainbows and unicorns it could be very it could be misconstrued that i'm sitting here with you know everything everything absolutely perfect nothing is perfect and i have walked through some deep 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 dark valleys myself Mm. uh, and have coached myself through some of the most um the, the thick of crap is probably what i would say so i know what it feels like to be in some very dark valleys and it's just fun now to be able to help people really transform it at a rapid rate without all the pain that I had to go through. Mm, yeah, great. And so where do you sort of feel has been the most challenging part of uh, growing, I guess, but both personally and also yeah. your, your, your business? I love that question. So uh, it's actually, I see the two as the same because I am my business. Mm. Uh, what I do for you know, um, for quote unquote work is fun and it's fulfilling and it's what I love to do. So, I mean, uh, I, I will be doing this for a very long time. So, um, the transformation, the hard parts really have been, uh, allowing myself to really be 
myself, be my greatness, step in and go, you know, it doesn't freaking matter. People are going to judge me anyway. So, you know, um, why not go out there and do the most big, bold, grand thing I can ever do and then be as impactful as humanly possible, knowing that, you know, there's 30% of the market that will hate me. Cool. That's fine. There's 50% of the market that will be like, hmm, okay, whatever. And then if my maths is correct, then there's 20% that may love me. Of which, by the way, of which, you know, um, you know, if we take it from a 100% stand, uh, standpoint here, there's probably only 1% that would actually really, 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 really love what I do. And I speak to them because I can't speak to everyone. So for me, allowing myself to answer your question, for me to get to the point where I wasn't trying to keep everyone happy, I was, I was wanting to serve the person who I know that I can serve. And then going back from that is, you know, really asking myself, who is it that I serve? Can I actually serve them? Because I believe in selling with integrity because, you know, it's very magnetic when you are on a sales call. If you 100% know that you can change the person's life with what you have mm. sales, there is no sale. It's just a, it's just easy because it's, it's a win-win situation. There's no, I don't believe in high ticket sales scripts or anything like that. I just really don't because when you step into yourself and you know that your offer changes people's lives, it's all easy. Mm, it's and it, it, is, hard, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because yeah, I've I've definitely uh, you know been been through those like especially in the early days. Like when you start business, it's all about you know the looks and the you know mm-hmm. I've, I have a big team and it's it's a prestigious thing having a business and you know all of that kind of thing. But then as you get older and I guess as you dig a bit and kind of open up and work on yourself, it sort of becomes, hey, look, there's actually more significance here than just, you know, I guess, kind of like what, what we were saying at the start around the stuff and, and that kind of thing, which is which is amazing. And, and I love that, yeah, you you find the fit as opposed to kind of selling a product. I, I think that's a, that's a much better, better way and of, of working with people in general. Like that's, that's perfect. Yeah. So, all right. In terms of growth, and I mean you're you're kind of doing some some new things now. Um, in terms of you know your your background, you've had a, a wonderful internet internet marketing background and, and that sort of thing. You know, tell us a bit about what's what's next for you in terms of growing to your next level. <clears throat> I love this. So to answer this in a slightly different way, and, and you may need to just you know bring me back on course a little bit. Go for it. But- in the past with internet marketing, you know, I came up in the days where uh, webinars were like the, like I was one of the very first people in the world for those people that uh, know Russell Brunson. I was actually the first person in the world that he taught the quote unquote perfect webinar um, system to. And the perfect webinar just went out there and changed a lot of people's lives. I was able to impact a lot of people's lives through that. And, you know, 98% of my business or 98% of my first million dollars was uh, was through, you know, Facebook ads to a live webinar funnel. I get on each week and I just, I ran that as much as humanly possible. It did actually turn auto over a good period of time, you know, and that was just a beautiful, beautifully seamless system. And the second product I launched, I used the same system. And the third product I launched in the internet marketing industry, it was all the same. And they, those products also had high ticket, uh, higher ticket, uh, coaching programs, um, appended to them as well. So, you know, there's a lot of, you know, lives that have changed as a result of online marketing. And I certainly don't want to poo-poo it in any way, shape or form. Like it's got a massive place. It is gorgeous. And my next shift is, you know, I will be, I mean, we're on the internet right now, so I'm still yeah. using the internet to, to sell my products and services uh, to people. Uh, but it's a different, it's an elevated market that I'm uh, working with right now. So we are actually using an invite strategy um, into, into our beautiful, incredible, amazing world because we're very purposeful in how we're going out and who we're working with now. So instead of the blanket, you know, webinar thing, there will probably be a webinar for this as well, um, but it'll be a different, instead of a 997 sale at the end of it, it will be a beautiful invite um, kind of webinar as well. So does that answer your question? Yeah, that's that's good. I, I I like that. And so, tell us about this kind of you know like the 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 next step for you. Like, what is what does that hold in terms of you know 
you like you personally and and where the, the mindset the uh, mm. the emotional intelligence that you kind of are looking to achieve for this next level uh okay the emo- can you rephrase that uh, the emotional intelligence i'm looking to achieve what does that mean yeah sure so yeah yeah no that's the, 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 that's good I'm, I'm really glad that that you ask so in terms of um you know uh, all right how, how about we we put it this way what um what has to change in you next to get to your next level from a mindset perspective literally the only thing um that i need to do now because of the transformation that i've gone through um mm. Because of the last 12 months, I've literally pulled back from things that are not for me anymore. I've walked away from all versions of scarcity, all versions of <gasps> all versions of worrying about things. Despite what is going on in the world, I really don't need to know anything that's really going on in the big world because I don't believe that we need to be swayed so much um, by wow. the opinions of others. Um, so, and I really, I'm not worried about inflation. I'm not worried about uh, downturns. I'm, I'm just not, I am taking a very opportunistic focus on everything because I think that the, the greatest leaders of this time are those who choose to stand up at this point in time. So one of the, one of the biggest things is to stand steadfast in my leadership. So the biggest thing that I must do in this time period is, um, is maintain unparalleled focus on that, which I am supposed to be doing and not do anything that is not for me anymore and to do so consistently and for long enough to have the impact required. That's it. Wow. That is, that is so focused. I love that. That is really good. And so in light of that, what advice would you give to a CEO or business owner who really wants to break through to their next level? Um, Get honest with yourself, really and truly get honest with yourself. The first question you need to ask yourself is, would I want this life 10 years from now? And if the answer mm. is no, then what are you going to do about it? Mm. Because, uh, you know, my belief system is we're all dead soon. Life is actually very, 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 very short. Yeah. And I don't understand why anyone would want to continue Groundhog Day the moment that they've had that understanding that they don't want the life that they actually have or something has to shift. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's finances. Maybe it's fulfillment. Maybe it is... It, it, maybe they just need more fun in their life, right? We're going back to the Fs. A lot of the time here, um, what people do in in life is that they will realize they're unhappy. They'll realize something and they'll have that momentary, oh, and they'll dream and then they'll just go right back to the way they were. Mm. I don't live in that world. I don't understand why someone would want to live a second longer being a version of themselves once they've had the realization no it's no so it's getting honest are you are you overweight are you fit and healthy enough for you to be living a you know a beautifully vital life if the answer is no do something about it right so Uh kapow by the way and um you've done a really great job at pre-framing this kapow stands for connection so connecting to yourself authenticity purpose so living a very purposeful life o is ownership what most people do not do and high achievers and high net worth individuals do do is, um, is they, they take full ownership for who they need to become to get the life that they dream of, the life that they say they want. And that, in my world, equates to living a W, a very wealthy life. So, yes, I am the Queen of Kapow and it came through with a lot of energy in the beginning here. But I'm very purposeful in my approach. Kapow actually means that you are living the life that you truly want. Yeah, wow. I, I, really, I really like that. That is phenomenal. And I, I really want to ask you this as well. Like, so given the journey that, that you've come on, come on through to this point now, mm-hmm. like you, you're in a great, great place personally and, you know, a great place business-wise, you know, that, that kind of thing. You, you know, you, you're, you're living your dream. You're helping people. If you could go back five years and give your slightly younger self a bit of advice, what would that look like? Um, Am I allowed to swear on this show? (laughs) Sure. Well, I I won't. Now that I've now that I've asked, and and you you, I want paused. Yeah. (laughs) It would be yeah. The the moderate pause gave me YouTube um, safe. Yeah. (laughs) I choose safe right now. So the deal is this: Um, five years ago. 
Um, <laughs> a lot of bad stuff happened in my life five years ago. Yeah. So I would say this to my younger self, mm. the faster you get through your trauma, the faster you get through your stuff, the more happy, the more fulfilled, the more easy, the more peaceful your life will be. I believe that now, like looking back in hindsight, naturally um, trauma release is part of what I assist people in doing because for a lot of the time, like I was out there, I was doing all the external things I needed to do. I was doing mm. the, you know, I was doing the spiritual out, spirituality stuff. I was reading all the personal development books. I was reading the mindset books. I was doing all of these things. But at the end of the freaking day, if you're not aware enough to realize that your subconscious mind is running the show, and a lot of the time you don't even know what you don't know, that you don't know, that you don't know. Mm. And you are running a program that is literally, like if you say that you want an apple and your program is I want a banana, you are always going to get a banana. You are mm. going to get a banana. Or you are going to get a soggy, disgusting banana because it happened too late. Or like it's just not uh, the right way to go. So for me, wow, um, one of the greatest things that um, I, I would have wanted for myself back then is to uh, get out of my own way and get out of the mindset that, uh, that you know, oh, if you need help with trauma release, you know, you, you must be weak. No, uh, some of the strongest people in the world are the people that go, you know what, I don't understand what my subconscious mind is doing right now. I want that thing over there. What if I can use hypnosis? What if I can use trauma release therapy in order to get more of what I want in life? Wouldn't that mm, be good? Yeah, yeah, mm. fantastic. That is really good. Right. And then, so finally, Liz, um, who can you best help? And if they want to reach out, how can they get in touch? <laughs> you know what? Um, I can, I love helping everyone. So I'm just going to start with saying that. However, the people that I really, really, really am drawn to helping right now are the people who are responsible for big movements or who want to be responsible for big movements, mm -hmm. big organizations, leaders of organizations where there are a lot of people relying on them to be the best versions of themselves. See, I personally know that it's very lonely at the top. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the systems and tools and support around you to help you yeah. uh, steady the step or stay the course or break through to the next level, it can be absolutely horrendous and you can live life feeling like a fraud, feeling isolating, feeling isolated and feeling responsible for everyone else, but you don't have what it is that you need. So um, I help those people because I believe that by helping people at the top of the organization, top of the game, uh, I personally get the beautiful fulfillment of being able to impact the world in a very, very, very positive way. So those are the people, the CEOs, the, the high achievers, the high net worth individuals that are wanting more out of life mm. or wanting to lead more, wanting to inspire more, wanting to have more. Heck, I help people if they're just like, I just want to make a shit ton more money. I'm like, cool, let's do that. But why? And as mm. long as there is enough why there, I lean in and I help those people do that as well. That is so amazing. And is mm. there a website or uh, an email or, or similar? I love that. So the best way um, for, for those people who want to find me, you can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Liz Benny on LinkedIn, you can find me but on, uh, on Facebook. But honestly, the best way would be through lizbenny.com. Honestly, just go check it out. And, and if anyone is sitting there right now going, holy moly, uh, what does this lady do? Definitely go check out the about page on Liz Benny. Just spend 10 minutes going through that. And if, and if your heart is beating faster, if your brain is going faster, if your mind is going like, holy crap, um, then definitely reach out through the website. I love that so much. Liz, thank um, you so much for, for coming on the show and giving us the, the value and the, uh, the, the deeper insights in, into both what you've been through and uh, what, what we can achieve as well. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I have really, really, really appreciated it. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Liz.